Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe, hit that bell so you get future videos. And as always, hit that like button if you got anything out of this video. So today I'm going to uh, do a short video on hooking up a parasitic uh, ref uh, reflector. Reflector, yeah. Reflector on the back of my uh, quarter wave antenna. And uh, we're going to try it out and see if it actually works. Thanks for being here. Let's get going. Okay, today what we're going to do is I'm going to build a reflector for my uh, quarter wave 20 meter antenna. I had such good luck the other day on 20 that I want to see if uh, adding a reflector to this thing like uh, the DX Commander, you know, Callum. He did this, I think, for 40 on one of his antennas one time. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Um, I think this is how he did it. I'm going to tune this one at uh, 14.100, I guess. Somewhere in that area, that'll be a little bit longer than the uh, where I tune the other antenna. The other antenna will be tuned somewhere around 14,250. So I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, let's just try it. Okay, so what I built here, I made this out of some sign material. Basically, it's a it's the ground radio setup. So the in fact, I, I shouldn't have hooked it to this yet. But what what will end up eventually happening is this will hit. This will go directly to ground with my ground radios. I've got my uh, my pole here with, and then this is a. Uh, I stick this in the ground, and that pretty much holds up, especially if it's just a vertical, if it's not too windy. So I'll set this up and uh, show you what we're going to do here. I'll be right back. Okay, I saved you guys some of the first cuts, but I'll show you what I cut off first. And then, hey, if you're ever in the Lancaster area, check this place out. They're a uh, really great little brewery, Lucky Luke's. The, the, uh, people, the owners are just like great, awesome people. So if you're in that area. Okay, back to the video here. Okay, so my first cut, I cut, I mean, like, like you guys always know, start long and cut later. And then fold over when you get close. So that's what I cut off so far. So I knew I was really long. Let me, uh, I'm at 13.750 right now. 13.750, and that's, that's about where it's at right now. So I'm gonna go and uh, shorten it a little bit more. Still a little bit long, but let me show you what I did here. So down here I have a plate that I made when I, I made a, a DX Commander Lite. I think it is an expedition myself before I bought one. And then like I showed you before, I got this plate. And right now I just have it hooked so I can act, it's actually acting as an antenna right now. There's my buddies from the fire department. They're making all kinds of noise for me. Probably honk at me here in a second. Okay, uh, so let me, let me adjust this one more time. And uh, we'll see how, we'll see. we should be pretty close on the next adjustment. So I took about a foot and just folded it over. And I'm set at 14, 100. And if you, as you can see, I'm just still just a, maybe an inch or too long. I'm not going to change it, That we're going to try that and uh, see how it works. So I'm probably just going to make a little short video of this and then um this this week my uh my video from uh, benicia state park in california it, it comes out i used the vertical quarter wave there it was just a mmfj extendable 17 foot stainless steel antenna on a on a stake and I, i'll show you that in that video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the same place i'm going to set all this up and uh what i'll do is is i'll set up my dipole also so we can compare the two and then if I get any if I'm getting like a really good uh, reports and stuff what I'll do is I'll drop the second one try to drop that with the camera on it and see if it actually does make a difference on the uh, on the signal 
So, uh, hey, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Hit that bell. That'll get you the next videos out when I post them up. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. This is Chuck, KK6USY, Ham Radio Adventures. 73s, guys.